Hey guys. Hi, hello, how are you? Um, just want to get this set up here so you can see better. How are you guys? Saturday night at the Woods house, we watched a little OU football that was absolutely terrible. Um, darn that LSU team. My word, darn the LSU. If you're a but LSU fan, boo. It's just going to say that. So um, we're picking up where we left off from last night. It's part six of this wardrobe makeover. Um, we have Bohemian Blue, which is the most beautiful shade of teal you've ever seen. We have multiple shades of blue here. And then we have Salty Kiss, which is an emerald green. Uh, we do not have wax on them. So once I get my wax on, it's good. the colors are going to pull to be much more, um, much more intense and really more bold. So this piece back here behind me is what we worked on yesterday. It does not have wax on it because I'm not finished. What I plan on doing with this is adding in some more highlight, uh, bringing back in a little bit deeper green and some deeper blue. I'll probably do some highlight with some black and some white to really create more of a picture look on the raised panels. The bottom panels below are com just about completely finished. Um, I will show them to you. They're the very bottom in case you missed um, they're down there and they're mostly finished just so you know hi guys there you are yep Matt's here too Hello. <laughs> Hola. so um, like I said I just want to be adding in a little bit of black and a little bit of white for some highlights um, I think I'm gonna leave this up here maybe I don't know I don't know yet but we did work on this yesterday so if you missed part five that was Friday Night Live last night what we're gonna do tonight is start on this basically I'm gonna do the exact same thing I absolutely love the bohemian blue I had originally gone with more lighter blue and then I added in some golden ticket and then bohemian blue to really identify it I got the camera all cattywampus again so I apologize for that um, if you have any questions, Matt is here so he can ask. I'm going to get started right away and um, I'm using my misting bottle. It's a fine mist, so it's like that perfect little, like you've been to the, the water park where it's so hot standing in line and they have like the misters over you. It's like that. It's really soft, fine mist. Hi, Michelle. So I'm going to lightly mist this and I'm going to come back with some Monet's Garden. Monet's Garden is like this deep pine green. And I'm going to add some blue iris to it, which is our cobalt. I'm just going to kind of get this in here and smudge it on. It's, going to, it's creating a background that I'm mostly going to drip off. And when I say drip off, I'm going to spray more water and let it kind of drip. It's creating a fun little background and a little bit of a shadow effect. Um, any comments, Matt? Anybody here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lori, uh, Lori? On, on YouTube. Hi, Lori. Uh, do you make your own turquoise wax? I did, and I, I, I have some actually. We won't get to use it, but I do make my own turquoise wax because I use all DIY products. So I take clear and I add Old 57 to it. And I actually made some today because I plan on using it on this project. So I took our clear wax. Um, it was almost full and then I put just a few drops of Old 57. It's extremely highly pigmented So you don't need very much and I stirred it around really well. So this is um, I'm gonna use some other colored waxes, but I um, Definitely wanted to use the Old 57 turquoise wax on this piece. So we'll get to this hopefully tomorrow So yes, I do great question. Thanks for asking Gavin's on here. Hi Gavin. He gets to go home see his mom I think tomorrow and have Christmas with her. So awesome. Yes, how your Christmas was. It was super. We had a great Christmas. I hope that you did as well. He also wanted to know what made you want to start painting. Um, I needed an outlet for my creativity. Um, just something to do while I was home with the kids. And also, I needed a way to make some money. And so I taught myself pretty quickly how I can make money doing what I love. Okay, now I'm going to spray this with water. This is exactly what I did over here. But it just creates a little bit of shadow and darkness at the bottom. And I have my paper towel right here because I don't want all of this to drip down onto the piece down here that's finished. Actually, Matthew, would you get me more paper towels? I feel like I need a little bit more. I 
thank you. Catch that there. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the brayer, which is from IOD. I'll take it there. Thanks. I'm gonna thin it out a little bit. I'm brushing up rather than down. I'm pulling it up a little bit higher. I'm gonna get all the excess paint off of my brayer. Hope everybody had a great Saturday. Did anybody else try watching any OU football? It was terrible. Oh, we had a bowl game. LSU kicked our tails. They throttled. Throttled us. Didn't kick. They Meanwhile, I painted a painting instead. <laughs> Did you lighten your hair? Nope. I haven't gone back in months. Nope. It's clean. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kelly. Okay. So I'm going to keep doing this and just thin this out a little bit. What's happening is I'm pulling some of the paint back off. All this golden ticket, the shimmer is starting to come through and pull from underneath, which is of course what I love. It's almost like you're squeegeeing the paint off. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, good uh, description, babe. Thank you. Yeah, I like that. Good job. Okay. Somebody will probably take it and run with it, so I'll have to... Squeegee the paint? Yeah. Maybe you should I'll trademark have, it, Woods. trademark, squeegee the paint. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I am streaming from YouTube and Facebook at the same time, so please be patient with us. Um, we just don't want to leave anybody out. Okay. So, letting that set up for a second, I'm going to grab some of my... Uh, turquoise iris brushes in the fan the cheerleader. I'm going to start with that one first And at any moment if, or any time if you have questions guys feel free to ask Last night some Matt said someone asked me a question, but I wouldn't stop talking <laughs> So make sure he interrupts me or says something because my creative connection group is opening up in just a couple so on January 1st, you guys can actually be a part of this creative connection that I do every single day in the group. Um, something that I spend a lot of time on and we have two and a half years of trainings in that group just for you guys to watch. Uh, Hilda said squeegee the paint. That's right, see? <laughs> I gotta trademark yeah, that thing. So I'm gonna be taking it and I'll be seeing it on a video later or something. Yes, babe. Yes. <laughs> Actually, they can do your more matte t-shirt, and then they can have a squeegee on the back. Oh, that's a really, that's a great Is idea. Is that a great idea? That's a good idea, honey. Thank You're full you. of wonderful ideas. Oh, yeah. That's not what you were saying earlier when I was asking you to help me with more stuff. What are you talking about? I'm teasing. I never complain. Oh, honey. <laughs> you don't necessarily complain, but you definitely tease me. Well... Somebody has to. Do, do, does someone really have to tease me, though? Well, it's it's fun for both of us. It, is it, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so I'm using Monet's Garden and a color called Tarnished Pearl, which is a really creamy ivory. I'm just kind of creating the backdrops. I'm going to put some blue irises on here. I use blue irises because they were my grandmother's favorite color. Her name was also Iris, which is where I uh, have named my business. Uh, my mother and my grandmother's middle name is Iris, and um, that's why my, I'm the turquoise Iris. Patty Richards is watching on the big screen. Oh, girl, you got me on that big screen again. Yeah, she says she can really see the details, so I think she's she's <laughs> really watching, trying to figure it out. She said she figured out how um, to get me on the big screen today. Uh, Cheryl James, is the brush you're using, are using, a fan brush? Yes, it is. This is um, a number six, and this particular one is from the Turquoise Iris Collection. Um, yes. Okay. So I'm going to sit these both down and grab a brighter green with a mint green. So the brighter green looks like this color, and then I have a mint, which is just a true beautiful mint green. 
Um, Julie also has you on the big screen as well. Oh my gosh, you guys don't tell me that. <laughs> don't tell me that. Kelly Bang does too. I guess it's oh a thing. Put you on the big Why screen. Why don't we do things like I don't this? Know. Do you like, do you like have the Apple thing? The Apple TV? The Apple TV? Throw or it to your TV, maybe? I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know how uh, they do it, babe. Um, looks like. Uh, I'm impressed, though. Okay. Let's set Marina this. Marina Carmen, 1029. How do you know what brush to use? I just play around. Um, so it's practice. It's just figuring yeah, things out. It's playing. just practice. These are my brushes, um, and I th there are eight of them, and I like the size of this one um, for this large piece. We also have a, a smaller fan, which is called the mascot. So we have the cheerleader and the mascot, which are both fan brushes. You get it? <laughs> it's so clever. I wonder who thought of that. It was me. And then um, because it's a larger piece on a larger panel. I use the biggest one that we have. Now, if I were doing something smaller, like on a small canvas or something, I would use the smaller number two, the mascot. Okay. All right, so now I wanna start with the irises. So I'm gonna set these, set these down. It's harder when I'm, when I'm standing to paint. You can Bluetooth to a TV. What does that mean? I don't know. What does it mean I can Bluetooth to a TV? I don't know, Michelle, she's coming down. She'll have to show us how to Bluetooth to the TV. Bluetooth to the TV, like like videos? Then you have Fire TV. Yeah, people are coming up. Hmm. Roku YouTube app. Apparently, there's lots of cool things out there we don't even have a clue about. <laughs> awesome. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, Karen Ann Cron is a link to purchase the turquoise iris brushes in this live. No. Uh, Michelle? Are you, where is she on? Michelle's on Facebook. No. The person Facebook. asking the question. Facebook. Michelle, would you please answer her with the link to the brushes? Um, what I do though, after every live, I go back in and put all of the links for the brushes, the paints, and anything else that I used. I try to do that um, just as soon as I get done. So they're on every one of my videos if you wanna go under another video and find it. If Michelle is, okay, she says yes. Um, perfect. Yeah, but even our teenagers don't know that. I bet they do, we just don't ask. They always make fun of us when we make silly comments about technology. <laughs> They're not too bad. It's okay. Uh, the brushes you're using, are those synthetic or are those... These are all synthetics. Okay. Robbie asked that question on Facebook. Uh, Kelly Bang, do you water down the paint when you use the artist brushes? No, I don't. Now, the paint is wet here from me spraying, so there is water on here already because I sprayed it, the panel. So there is a little bit, but I do not water down the paint. Okay. When I turned 30, my mother gave me a watercolor from an artist at a, um, that she found at a arts festival and as I'm looking at this right now I turned 30 and she gave it to me for my 30th birthday and it was one of my favorite gifts it meant so much to me because I was so admirable I was admiring this woman's work so much and I remember thinking I would love to be able to do this one of these days and while I'm looking at this I just was reminded of that painting in there that's hanging right now actually and it's in our bedroom you know right when you go into the bathroom oh yeah I've seen it a hundred times yeah it just reminded me of that that I, you know, 13 years later, I'm doing this. Uh, Stacy and Stacy Watley. Hi, Stacy Watley. Casey, Casey it's and Stacy. Stacy and I'm Casey. sorry, Casey and Stacy. Mm -hmm. Not Stacy and Stacy, that would be kind of weird. Mm -hmm. uh, how long do you wait before adding the waxes? Um, I, but I won't, I'll leave 24 hours before I actually put wax on Stacy. 
But like we're we're not done with the front panels because I've got to add in black and white and do some highlighting too. Check this out, honey. Mm -hmm. uh, Josie Van Haften. She's on the YouTube. She uh -huh. says hi everyone. Should be sleeping right now. It's three fifty in the morning here in the Netherlands, but couldn't miss this. Love your work so oh, much. It's thank awesome. you so she much. She probably let, had to let her dog out to go to the restroom, probably. Maybe so, but that was so nice. Thank you for coming on here tonight with us. We're so grateful that you hang out with us. I'm going to um, get some yellow now, so just a moment. I'm going to set my stuff down. Martin. Hi, Martin. Uh, do you wet your brushes before you paint? Um, sometimes I do. Tonight I have because they were in the jar from last night, so they were literally sitting in the jar all night. So they are wet right now when I go to grab them. They are. Um, most of the time with the acrylics, I do go ahead and dampen my brush. Um, I'm going to highlight with this bright yellow, which is called Liquid Sunshine. I'm just, you know, as if the sun were kind of touching on here. Uh, Hilda Rodriguez Coronado, these Hi. panels, are they on an armoire or yes. what? Yes, yes. Yeah, this is a big armoire. Yes, Ellen, we have very wonderful fans that love to comment and watch. and They're great fans, super, super fans. They're awesome. Uh, Donetta would like to see the whole piece, maybe, maybe later on tonight, if we can yeah. maybe move it back a little bit. Yeah, sure. No problem. Um, you know, I remember, I've been on Facebook for years, but this whole YouTube Live thing is kind of new to me because YouTube was so intimidating to me. But I for the most like... part, YouTube has been super kind to me as well. Lots yeah, of hearts and thumbs ups. People. Rainbow um, 505. Yeah. Yeah. I just remember being really intimidated by it, but it's like anything. When you, when you don't know what you don't know, and you're intimidated by, by things that you're not familiar with, you know? I'm loving it. It's very pretty. Thank you, honey. It's very irisy. It's very irisy. Mm hmm Irisy. <laughs> Spell it, Woods. I R I S. Eerie. Eerie? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, they want to see the whole thing. I, I, I'm at that point where I need to set that up. I may come back tomorrow and add in some more definition. I definitely want to add some black and white. So, I'll scoot this back so everybody can see all four panels together. Gavin came up with a brilliant idea. Brilliant idea. Yes. If Debbie possibly could maybe put something in the paint. So, like, when you paint flowers, the flowers would, like, smell good. Ah, ha, ha. It's a brilliant idea. Like a scratch and sniff paint. That's a million-dollar idea right there, guys. <laughs> Excellent idea, my friend. <laughs> that would make me happy. That would truly make me happy. It's like I, painting a bouquet. So, you can see the bottom panels and then the top. Of course, this one's wet, so that's why it's a lot darker. And I have this here to catch all of this from dripping so it doesn't get on the bottom panels. Put that down there. So, everybody, you guys like it or is it hideous and I should start over? Yes, hearts? <laughs> Can you move it up just for the hair? Move it up? Yeah, it's kind of pointing down just a little bit. Well, I was just making sure they could see the bottom. Um, I, I mean, can, I can see your paints on the floor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's good. You two look good. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. I think everybody seems to like it. Well, and if you don't, <laughs> you don't have to tell me it's okay. If you don't, maybe you'll catch the next one and like that one. Well, that's the, that's the beautiful thing about art, right? Yeah, right? Um, Hilda says, don't you dare redo this redo this one. So in my Creative Connection group, you guys, I was mentioning earlier, it's opening. Um, every month I do a tutorial. Well, this month we're actually doing a redo of a redo that I did. So uh, let's just say you call every piece a redo um, because we're giving it a new life, rebirth, re-something because Revitalize. nobody wanted it. Um 
revitalized. Okay, okay, Woods. And so, um, well, it hasn't sold this other piece. It did not sell. Nobody's interested in it. I mean, I had a lot of people give me lots of compliments, but it was a neutral piece, and I never do neutral. So I did the neutral. I did a feminine, soft, really soft colors, toile, French inspired, and it didn't sell. Nobody wanted it. So is there black paint along the very top? No, Jean. Nope, there's not. <laughs> um, so, with that being said, I'm redoing a piece in that group and showing them what I'm gonna do, how to totally give it a different look. So we're going a totally opposite direction with intense, bold color on this piece that I'm redoing in the group. So we're on day, um, we're on day two. So, can't see the top. I'm not finished with the top. I will show it to you, but I haven't got, I haven't finished it. I have to get on my um, step stool. And I, guys, I can't go back any further. Or I'll run into another piece of furniture behind here. Jody Flywell on Facebook. Do you wait a set period of time before you do the redo? Yeah, I usually wait about six months, Jody. So there's the top. So as you can see, I need to get on my step stool and do a second coat up there. I need to add the bohemian blue up there to the trim and um, start working on that up there. I'm not going to paint any flowers up there, but I'll just add more layers of paint and stuff. So I got to get on the step stool for that. Um, a Tara Williams. I guess I can Facebook, do that now. On Facebook, do you always paint real wood projects or can you do newer pressed board pieces? I only do real wood. Well, we. We, you've done I mean, a few. You I just, have it done. It just, they're not as fun. They're not as fun, and um, they don't turn out as well for me. So I really try not to do anything but real wood. Now they have, like some of the pieces will have like not real wood on the sides or on the back, but I at least try to, for the most of what I do. Um, so there's the top. Sorry. I guess I can go ahead and work on it right now. I think I need, we have two of these tripods, but I think I need a third one. I use them so much. So a I'm gonna have to, tripod? yeah, I think so. I'm gonna have to tilt it up if you guys wanna see me work on the top. Um, I can see on both of them. Just kind of tilted. Yeah, I have it. to tilt it up because there's that piece of furniture YouTube behind little, it. YouTube little little womp, caddy wampus. Little caddy wampus. Yeah, it's wampus on the caddy. Okay. Where did you go? <laughs> I'm gonna have to crawl up this ladder here, so I'm gonna have to get me my French tip. Uh, retro vintage Lucerio. She says, hi, Lady Bonita. Hello. So since you guys were curious about the top, I'll just go ahead and work on it. Uh, Burl, I hope I said this right. I apologize if I get it wrong. Burl Watkins? Yeah, Burl Watkins. I don't know how you paint so wonderful with the fan. Has it taken a while to perfect? Yeah. Talking about the fan brush, maybe? Um, a little bit of practicing. Um, the fan brush I really took to easiest, um, more than any other brush. It, it was one of, it was a natural movement for me, I guess. So I want to say yes, because that makes sense. But on reality, it really was a natural transition for me to use the fan brush. Didn't know till I tried, but the way that my brain or something works, the fan brush were like this. Um, other brushes, yeah, it takes a while, but not this one. Uh, Liz Armstrong, will the ovals get more filled in with flowers? I don't know yet, Liz. I'm not sure. I gotta let this dry and I don't know. Um, Mary Beth Hughes on Facebook. Yeah. I'm wondering if the larger armoires are more difficult to sell even with your amazing talent. They are because they're usually more expensive. So, you know, the higher you go in price, they definitely are more expensive and it's harder to sell. Uh, Lori James, have you done the sides yet? No. I started this side over here, but I haven't got to it. Uh, 
I spend a lot of time coaching lately and I just don't get enough time in here in the studio to paint to do the sides at this point. But what I also will probably do is take one of the sides and video it and actually create a tutorial from that. And so sometimes I leave the side specifically to record a tutorial that's kind of in fast speed, like fast motion. Robin Harrison said, Wisteria in the top of the large ovals could work. Great idea. Yep. Great idea. Lots of good ideas out there. Matthew, would you mind getting me pull and paper towel? Sure. Uh, Donita Bates Harmon, what color are you using? Bohemian blue. Of course. Love that teal. Okay. Didn't you want this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, love. This is the padding section, padding part of the, the video. The, yes, I'm creating more texture. And it, 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 it's on the top now. Okay. Um, there's a lot of golden ticket up here that I really want to come through. And so I'm pulling a little bit of the paint off and letting it, the golden ticket come through. Really create some good fun detail. And remember, I'm standing on a four foot ladder. So. Skills right here, baby. Skills. 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 You making fun of me? No, you got skills. <laughs> I'm using the French tip for this from Paint Pixie. I got the skills. Standing on the four foot ladder, talking, painting, spraying, painting, dabbing, spraying, dabbing, dancing, singing, no, blending, blending. <laughs> Need more. Any more towel paper towels? Nope. I'm good. Right. I will let you take this from me though. Thank you, love. And I'll get my paper towel here. I'm going to hold that and I'm going to tap this section that I just sprayed. Create a little bit more texture. Pull some of that paint off and let the gold come through. Um, as far as the sides go, I'm probably just going to be there flat. So I'm probably just going to do the original look that I did where I applied mid chip and mermaid tail simultaneously together and then I'll end up putting the wax over them as well. Oh yes. Carol Kincaid says you need one of those platforms you can get from Home Depot. Yep. We've talked about that. The problem is when you're not using it, where do you store it? In the garage. Well then it messes up your garage. I know. I know. Okay, let me see the brush, babe. Do you want the whole platform? Or just nope, the just the brush. I'm getting involved tonight. I mean, I'm I'm reading comments, questions. Oh my gosh, can getting you handle you, all this? I'm getting you the the paper towels, the the stuff. Are you overwhelmed or can you handle it okay? No, no, I've got this. You've got all of this. Yeah. Boy. I mean, it takes two to make the magic happen sometimes. That's 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 so right. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Chavez says, get some drywall stilts. Yeah, there's not really any no, to put I, those in here. Uh, yeah, um, Terry, I don't think you're going to want to see her on those. It would make a good funny video, though. That would be funny. It would be funny. Until... Ba -bum -bum -bum. Okay, so I still need a little bit of paint up here. So Matthew, I'm gonna hand you this back. Um, I'm gonna have to step down, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to have to... Liz Armstrong wants me to do the sides. I think he should do the sides. Not on this piece, we'll do it on oh, another piece. Oh <laughs> gosh, that would be amazing if Matt did the other side. Um, what colors did I use here? Mint chip and mermaid tail.
Yes, Donetta, my Donetta, my uh, my honeydews list gets bigger and bigger every time. Yep. Yep. Certainly does. Yes, Martin. Yes. What? Yes, I'm promoted to design assistant. I love that. I'm a design assistant. Are Hasht you though? Hashtag Matt design assistant. Are you though? Yes. Says, says Martin. Yes, Martin. It's my, yes, it's awesome. <laughs> Martin Rook. Rook. I hope I said that right. Sorry guys, I'm getting more paint down here. Sorry. Design assistant. That even sounds fancy. Well, I love it if you love it. It works for me. And then one day, you will be over here reading comments. No. And you asking questions, and I'll be in front of that camera just. Well, sir. Razzling, and dazzling would, the, the, the fans out there. If you would ever do the light fixtures I keep asking you to do, <laughs> then we will sit back and watch you. I think that he should create his own light fixtures, and I'll paint them. And I've been asking him for years to do it. Uh, Gail, Gail Barry, what do you put, uh, what do you put your paint on? A platter? Uh, yeah, this is a platter with some paper, like some peel and stick over it. Just so I can hold, it's a lot larger. And this is going to be impossible to do here. Uh, Maz Smithers. Hello from Australia. Hashtag buy the cookies. <laughs> Totally, right? <laughs> yeah. Never, ever cook them again. You know, our son made some cookies with his, with his girlfriend, and they turned out fantastic. Yeah, they were over last night. Same recipe. I asked her, is that the same? When I looked at the recipe, it's the exact same. And theirs were so much better than ours. I think she's experienced. Which, we had some of theirs. Not gonna lie. So I'm just filling in like a second coat of these two colors together because it went on really thin. So I'm putting a second coat on of mermaid tail and minship. Uh, booty, bootylicious. Okay. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah. Booty, <laughs> I can't even say it. You're just bootylicious. Booty are you sure it's not beautylicious? Oh, it may be. I don't know. I don't have my glasses on. Oh my goodness. Uh, what are your must-have colors? Must-have colors. Every shade of blue. Some neutrals as far as white and black. So, you know, always white so you can um, lighten any darker color that you have. But as far as DIY colors, is that what you mean? Or... Uh, you just need paint colors in general. Kelly Bang answered. She said, Mint Chip, Farm Fresh, Boho, Blue, Queen Bee, Money's Garden, Golden Ticket. I think she answered for you. Those are all the ones. I think those are must-haves, right? Oh, and Blue Iris and Water Lily. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta have them. You gotta have the new ones. And she was referring... Yes, she said yes, DIY. Yeah. Yes, okay. Um... I like J Jody. Um, Hi, Jody. Yeah, she said you should. Uh, she says since I'm an assistant. Yeah. I get an assistant. So, Jody, what are y'all saying? So that means I get an assistant to hold to do whatever I tell them to do. So my assistant's gonna hold the stuff that you need. This is genius, Jody. Genius. You guys, this is a terrible angle, by the way. Ah, uh, Rita Young coming on a little late. But Hi, Rita. What's the replay? Water Lily. Don't forget about Water Lily. Remember, just get all of them. <sighs> Old school's great. And pink petticoat. Look at me throwing out some names. Look at honey. you. You're just seeing. You're just testing your DIY paint I'm, IQ. I'm. I'm just. I, I'm. Yeah. I'm just. I, I'm impressing myself over here. Yeah, I know. I'm glad that you're entertaining yourself as well. Okay, this looks amazing. Love, love, love the Bohemian Blue over the Golden Ticket going down. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, guys, we made some seriously. Seriously? Good. 
progress for sure. Um, I appreciate you all so much for hanging out with us tonight. We will be back tomorrow, 7 o'clock. No, nope, wrong. 8.30 Central Time. Uh, Facebook, YouTube. Um, maybe on Instagram. I haven't done Instagram in the last two nights. Um, I don't know why I don't have an answer. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm really, really, really ready um, to move forward with this. But I've got to, what I'll probably do not on camera, is just use the highlighter with the black and the white really highlight and outline my flowers. Um, and then we've got to um, add some finishing details to this to make it look super special. I don't want it to look like it was just hand painted this past week. I want it to look like maybe it was hand painted years and years and years and years ago and you don't really know. So we're definitely gonna be antiquing it. Um, something that you might walk by, it might catch your attention and you might think, man, how long ago was that painted? That's what I'm after. I don't want anything to look absolutely brand new. So um, there's that. You guys have a great end of your Saturday night and I'll see you back here uh, tomorrow. Wait, we have a question? Why don't you why don't you explain maybe to people on Facebook or YouTube that maybe want to learn about your group that's getting ready to open up? Oh, so the group opens up. It's my Creative Connection membership. We, um, we open up January 1st and 2nd only. I literally only open the group up for eight days out of the year. It's $37 a month, but in, included in that are two and a half years full of tutorials, tips, tricks. I have people come into the group, teach us things. Um, we have q and A. Q &A. It's just It's a wonderful group that supports How one another. Um, we do definitely talk about shipping, hosting workshops, uh, running a brick and mortar. And then we also have people in the group who just paint for fun. Um, I give you challenges every month. I give you prizes. You win. You can win um, paint. You can win brushes. You can win, ah, oh, thanks, you guys. Um, you can win a free ticket to my workshop. Um, all kinds of different things. So, gosh, January 1st, if you are interested, go to theturquoisiris.com. You click on my creative connection and you right now you can get on the waiting list and that puts you on my email list to where I can send you a reminder saying go it's go time um, and then you'll still go there on the day of registration to sign up and then you'll request to join the creative connection I click and let you in and it's over it's good so like I said you have paint on your left sleeve nope Nope, looky there, it's a, it's, a, it's a tag, it's a piece of tag. Ah! Um, Stacy, you miss us? Well, come on back, girl. I told you, you're welcome back anytime. All right, you guys, have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow, 8.30 Central Time. I'll be back on YouTube and Facebook. Take care. <laughs>